By the end of this tutorial, you're going to learn how to mock up your clothing concepts just like this. So this is perfect for people that are just using Blender for the first time and time savvy pros that just want to conceptualize their work. So the first thing you need to do is download Blender, which is free software. You can have that for Mac or PC. And then you need to go and download the source files for this product as well. And there's a link in the description for that. So once you've downloaded the source files, you should have this structure in your folder. So you'll have the Blender file at the top. And then over here, you have the diffuse section down below you have the print as well so this is where you're going to be putting your artwork it's super super easy to use um, so all you have to do is open up the blender file so once you've opened up blender this should be your view so you can pull everything down and get that all out the way so you have a nice clear view and you can see that we've got our hoodie all ready to go we've got cameras all around it we've got loads of lighting and scene stuff set up so this is the main hoodie area we've got this, the drawstrings as well so if you want to take those off you just literally click the camera there and that will hide them um, so if we go to the eyeball that will hide them in the visual that you're seeing and the camera if you click that that will stop them from being rendered if you've got the camera on then that will still render it the eyeball is just your visual for when you're updating it within Blender. So you'll make sure you've got them both switched off if you don't want them. So if we're gonna go and do some edits on this, we might wanna get a little idea on how it looks. So if we go over and switch our preview settings to view, the, view it in a real form render, then this will be, uh, it'll be quite rough and noisy, but it gives you a good idea of the placement and the lighting and so on. At the moment, this is using cycles as well. If you've got better render machines, then absolutely go to town on them and you might have much better results, but obviously they're not free with Blender, um, but feel free to do your thing with those. And if you already know what you're doing with Blender, then I'm sure you'll be absolutely flying with this already and you don't even need to watch this tutorial. So here's the hoodie all set and ready to go. I'm going to switch to a different view as well. Um, and I'm going to go in and do a couple of little edits and put some artwork on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just minimize this for now and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get the print file. So I'm going to open that in Photoshop and then I'm going to get the other one as well. I'm going to get the diffuse. I'm going to stick that. I'm going to drag and drop the diffuse PNG as well into there too. So this is going to act as a little guide. So I'm going to put this underneath and you can see that this is where the artwork is positioned. So this is essentially the way that someone who's building a garment would work with the sizes and the cuts to build the garment. So you need to position your artwork on here. So I'm going to go and drag my back design on and I'm going to place that over here on the back. As well, it's important to remember that this is a flat piece of fabric, so you don't want to go too big on it because it will warp right around into the into the seam. So we don't want that. So we want to make it a nice reasonable size. So that's probably good. Um, and then we want to go and drag some artwork onto the front as well. And then we can go and hide the placeholder. So once that's done, we then want to hide the main guide area too. And we're gonna save this file down. You can save it as anything you like. So we're gonna make sure that we do it as a PNG. So quick export as PNG, and then go down and save that wherever you like. So let's save it as here, and then we'll just put artwork afterwards. Save that as PNG, close that down. So essentially that's it, ready to go. All we need to do now is place our artwork in there. So the first thing we need to do is go into the hoodie and then we're gonna to go to this drop down and make sure that we've got hoodie main mat selected. So the main thing we wanna update is this print file here. So we need to go and update our file. So if we click update, you'll then get a little folder box here. We then need to go and locate our artwork. So I had the artwork saved to my desktop here. So I'm gonna open that and you'll see that it's updated just simply like that, it's all done. We can rotate that now and you can see that the back print is put on there. That essentially is good to go. You could export that if you like, or you can go in a little bit deeper and start tweaking around with all the colors and the lighting and so on. So you'll see that this also comes with a built-in animation as well, so it nicely rotates. We can then go in and change the color as well of our hoodie. So we could have a white hoodie. So if we then want to change the cuffs, we just need to go into the drop down again and we just need to go down. Annoyingly, Blender doesn't let you scroll down. It might be different on a PC, but I just use the up and down arrows on my keyboard to get through those. So then we select the cuffs and we can then set those to be white as well. 
We can spin this round as well on the timeline to see how it's looking. Inside the hood as well, we wanna change that. So we, again, we just click it, we're gonna make this white. So you get an idea that it's super, super easy to use this and update it. So this is the bare basics of what you can do with this. It comes with all sorts of things. It comes with built-in animation, the lighting scenes as well can all be changed, the colors of the lights as well, all the different angles. It's absolutely loaded. And Igor, the creator, has put together a really good detailed guide as well. So you'll get that within the source files too with the download. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot myself or Igor a line. We'll be happy to answer you and troubleshoot any of them. And in the meantime, we cannot wait to see what you guys cook up using this. We always love to see what you make. So use hashtag Studio and 8 and also tag at Studio and 8 as well on Instagram and we'll share those as well. So in the meantime, keep on creating and look forward to seeing what you make. Thanks.